What is going on, everyone? Welcome to today's video. My name is Mike, also known as Modded ATS. Today, we're going to be jumping back here into another showcase here of the Serial Black Engine sounds that have been newly released. All links and information will be down in the description below. Today, we, of course, again, have the Pistra 3 and 9 Peterbilt. All these motors do work for the truck, and this one is going to be kind of funny because this motor we're looking at today definitely does not belong in this truck. And that is, of course, the NH220 Cummins that was originated back in the 50s. Let's jump in this thing. All right, guys, so welcome back to the video. If you guys are new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Join up here with the community. If you guys like these videos, make sure to give it a good old thumbs up. Today, we'll be looking again at the Serial Black Engine sounds that were just released. We do have all the links and information down in the description down below for you guys. Today, we're going to be looking at the NH220. It's an older style Cummins that came around in the 50s. Very, very little horsepower. There are a few engines with this mod that come with it. Also, there are some fantasy engines as well where the engines start up, I think, around 400 to, like, five, six, or 700 horsepower, which obviously is not a, you know, a real engine, but that's why it is a fantasy. Uh, today, we're going to be checking out the 275-horse non-turbo. This thing sounds really cool. Uh, I do just have it in the pistol truck just because, obviously, we have the pistol truck on here, and we've already done so many videos already with it, and in this... <laughs> color and this specific truck that uh it's kind of funny to see all the engines going through this one but of course all the information and links will be down in the description below any questions comments concerns you guys have the discord for serial black modding is your place to go we're gonna do of course what we do in all of them guys we're gonna fire it up inside and out give you guys a little sounds clip of it we'll give it a nice run down the road and of course you guys let me know down in the comment section below if you guys like this engine and what engines you would like to see also in the future. And two, let me know what your favorite engine sound is. All right, let's begin here with the good old, this, I'm laughing because I already know what this thing sounds like. This thing is going to sound so crazy in this truck. All right, enough, let's go. Hey guys, this is Mike from the future cutting into this video because I completely forgot about this during post. Guys, don't forget too, there's another mod that comes with this NH220. If you guys are really enjoying the sound and want that old school feel, it also comes with a transmission mod as well, guys, to simulate those twin sticks like they had back in the day. A five and a three, a good old six and a four, and they're modified to work with the 18-speed layout. The transmissions, they come from a 323 all the way to a 511 gear ratio. And he's got all the information there on the actual website, too, going over each one and how to set it up properly. I definitely am going to be checking it out because I personally didn't even realize this at the time. But you guys should definitely check it out, especially if you guys want to get that old school real feel. And if you have two sticks in the, already on your setup, I mean, come on. That's already a win-win in my book for the old school cool. But guys, enough of me going. Let me go right back to the video and we'll fast forward or should we rewind? Rip. Love the way this thing sounds when it shuts off. You can just hear everything just coming to an end and just really brings me back to the time there with the older engines and stuff like that. So, of course, we're going to go for a little ride here. We'll do the outside view, the inside view, so you guys can get a good sound clip of the way she sounds. If you guys, this is a perfect motor, too, for anyone who's looking to have, like, an old-school truck. And, you know, you're not really trying to have all that super crazy big horsepower and 150 mile an hour. Blah, blah, blah. This is for the, the enthusiasts. This is for those guys and gals out there who love the old school rides and they want a period correct motor with everything being 
this is the motor for you guys. You guys, this is the first video you're watching. We do have a cat. Jeez, Lord in heaven. I was going to say we have a cat. We don't have a cat. We got we got maybe a cat killer. We got the old Cummins in here with a 13 speed and 370 rear. So we're going to pull through the gears nice and easily so you guys can hear it. And uh, we're going to leave the Peterbilt dealership and run down a little through Bakersfield and cause up some chaos. So let's go ahead and fire up the old Peter car. And uh, let's hear some beautiful sounds of this NH220 Cummins 275 horsepower. Thing just absolutely barks it really does sometimes you know it's so crazy how a game will bring a smile to your face when you hear certain things or you do certain things uh you know i was raised very old school with the old school engines and the old mechanicals and uh it's just funny to hear this being brought back well let's hear what it sounds like on the inside of the cab Jake just brings it right to almost a stop, which is great. Like I said, all you enthusiasts out there, old school trucks, maybe it's the Peterbilt 350, maybe an older style Mac with an old Cummins in it, maybe an old A-model Kenworth, maybe the Brockway. Very popular truck with a Cummins. This is definitely, definitely the motor for those realistic series with the old school trucks. bring it right back here to the motel and you guys get a nice little sound clip here of the ride again guys this motor does come with a few different options and different horsepowers can of course get one naturally aspirated or one with the turbo this is the one that is naturally aspirated turbo one having those beautiful turbo spools also, if you want to have the fantasy engine, you can do so by having a little bit more horsepower, which will get you down the road a little bit easier if you do really do enjoy 
that old mechanical sound. As always, guys, that's going to do it for us today. I really hope you do enjoy this video. Again, let me know down in the comment section, too, what is your favorite engine in a diesel truck? Also, if you guys are new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button if you guys enjoy these videos as well. And as always, guys, we'll catch you on the flip. And always, always, always keep the hammer down.